Hi, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been forever because it's been like 140 some odd days. Um, let's look, see. So as of today, it's been 138 days since I've posted my last video. It has been wild and busy um, and I wanted to catch up. So let's get going on today's video and see where I've been. So as you can tell, for those of you who've been around for a little bit, it looks a little bit different. I am in a different office. I haven't gotten it set up yet. Um, and so I've got a little bit of explaining to do. I'll show you pictures of my old office here in just a second. But first of all, hi, my name's Megan. My husband, Tommy, niece, Kaylin, and I live in Southern Ohio with our four dogs, <laughs> two cats um, in our family home. Um, my husband is the fourth generation to live here. My niece is the fifth. And it is a wonderful legacy that the family has left for our care. And so we are making it our own and just trying to continue this legacy and pass it down and take care of it. Um, I am a nurse by trade, so I stay pretty busy with that. I recently, last year, went back to school for my bachelor's degree in nursing. Um, I already have my RN license, so it's just a bridge program. Not gonna take me long, I'll finish by Christmas of this year. Um, and then after that, I plan on continuing on my studies um, and eventually get my doctorate in nursing. Um, but <laughs> needless to say, that's part of why I've been so busy. I started back to work. I just, it was all snowballing. Um, so last semester, I made a boo-boo and <laughs> didn't pay too close attention when I was scheduling my classes. I had to take a chemistry class, an anthropology class, and four total nursing classes. So with that, um, my nursing classes are each only five weeks. I tend to spread them out over the course of the semester. So when one ends, I start another one just so I don't get overwhelmed because it is like a paper every single week. And it's just a lot of really busy things. Um, I also like to provide care for my family. I work full time. We are very involved in our church. We're getting ready to go on a mission trip. So just these things, I don't want to overwhelm myself. And I love to be on my YouTube channel. I love to communicate with you guys and be a part of this community. Well, I didn't realize that the chemistry class and the anthropology class were in fact 15 weeks and not five or even seven weeks. So when I scheduled it, I scheduled both of those to start at the same time, along with one nursing class because I said I could knock those out and then Two nursing classes would begin, those would end, my last nursing class would begin, and I'd be done with the semester. Well, what happened was is those two classes, both anthrop anthropology and the chemistry class started, my nursing class started and ended, those two classes continued, two more nursing classes started, so at one point I was taking both the chemistry and anthropology and two nursing classes and it was crazy overwhelming and something had to give. And unfortunately, it was this, it was YouTube. Um, priority wise, I have to keep up with my job. I have to keep up with school. I pay a lot of money for that. Um, and just life in general. And so that's where my time went and I apologize for that. Um, I was extra careful when scheduling this next semester um, so that that doesn't happen again because I did not like feeling like that. Um, in the midst of all that, I even went off carnivore because I just, I couldn't manage it all. So I took a step back um, and reevaluated some things. I took the summer semester off so that I could really reevaluate, um, get some things straightened out, do some projects here at the home, um, and get back onto YouTube because I really, really missed it. Um, July 1st, so just a couple days ago, was my two year anniversary on YouTube. 
it's been a wild ride. I love it here. I love this community. Um, I love getting to chat with you all and spend some time here um, and have this kind of creative outlet um, and see what I can get into and try new things. Um, I know I love finding things on YouTube, teaching me how to do things I don't know how to do. Um, and I hope that I can offer that for some of you all as well. So that's kind of where I've been. Now, while I've been gone, I have been so shocked at how many of you are new faces. So leave a comment down below if you have joined in the last 138 days. So since I posted my carnivore breakfast video, because um, wow, I went from like 600 followers, subscribers to 748. <laughs> so that's been an interesting ride. So welcome to those of you who are new. Thank you so much to those of you who have stuck around and have been patient with me. I have been trying to get back into here. Um, and like I said, we are getting ready for this mission trip. We are leaving very, very soon. Um, and I can't wait to share some of that with you. Uh, but here we are. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Um, and now let's talk about what's coming up down the line <laughs> as far as projects and things I want to be filming and things like that. So this room that I'm sitting in, I've got some footage that I'm going to probably pop into here. Um, this room is actually our future bedroom. Um, Tommy, my husband and I are going to move our bedroom from the main floor down into the where I'm sitting in the basement currently, if you can't tell. Um, into this space. Um, there is a bathroom just that way um, and making this kind of an ensuite space. Um, that way our niece Kaylin can move down into our old bedroom which has an ensuite with laundry and everything um, because it has the only bathtub in the house and she loves a bath. I don't care about taking a like an actual seated bath. I prefer a shower. So we're letting her take over that space and have a little bit more privacy. Um, so we're letting her have that room. We're moving our room downstairs. Um, there used to be a mother-in-law suite. We're kind of transitioning that to where it's more of a hangout space and making this more into, instead of a home with a mother-in-law suite, more of one house and utilizing the space a little bit better. So we took out a couple walls and did some things. So now we're gonna be building back and putting our bedroom here, adding in a washer dryer because there is space for hookups and that type of thing. And then we've got a kitchen and a living room on down that we'll be using for future um, company and guest space um, and things like that. Yeah. 
Just how beautiful you are Even when my faith is falling Um, my future office is going to be over in another part of this um, basement space. That way it's quiet. Um, with my current work, I work remotely, but I need a space that is quiet, that also allows for following of privacy laws and things like that. So I wanted to have a space that I could kind of tuck away and keep it secure and private and also edit videos and film and do some different things, have some filming set up. So we're working on that kind of simultaneously. And then upstairs in what was my office and kind of our living room space, we tore down the walls. <laughs> um, so I'll show you that today. Um, it looks a lot different. So we took down the walls because we are wanting to start hosting some small groups um, ministry teams, different things like that from our local area and some traveling teams that are going to be coming into our area. Um, and we want to be able to seat about 20 to 30 people at any given time and really make our home um, a safe space for whomever might come and visit. Um, we want to be able to house people as they need as they're traveling for ministry. So we're kind of making that back living room a really big open space so we can use that for Bible study, use that for ministry teams, and even family hangout. Um, so we've painted it, we took down walls. Um, there's still some work we're gonna be doing. We're gonna scrape the ceilings back there. We're gonna add some lighting, um, add some flooring eventually. But for now, we painted it, we changed trim work, um, and changed the layout, of course. Um, and moved me down here for right now. <laughs> Um, and then the back dining room, we have started the process of changing to our library. Um, we wanted that to be a really cozy space, so we painted it. Um, you've seen us paint it before when we painted it de jour white. It is now Fox Hall green, so I will be showing you that today as well. Um, and then we have been working on the column rewrap. Um, and so I've just got some more touch-ups to do on those. Um, the wood is all up. We hired a team out to help us with that project because I went a little bit of a different direction than original um, because I didn't like how the Lawan was working out. So I kind of changed up how I was doing that and I'm much happier with how it turned out. I just got to do some finishing touches on it, um, but and then I'll be showing you how that project turned out. Um, but that's kind of some of the projects I'm doing. I'm getting ready to get back into carnivore. I'm not quite there yet. I'm in the transition process um, because I didn't want to go cold turkey this time. So I'm transitioning back into carnivore. So I'll be taking you along as I continue that journey because I want it to be a lifestyle. I want to figure out how to make it to where even in the busiest time frames, it's not a reason for me to fall off the wagon that that's just the way I eat. Um, and that's my lifestyle and not just a diet um, because I do feel my best when I live life that way. Um, and so that's kind of my future goals. Um, some other changes you've probably noticed, I did cut my hair off. Um, <laughs> it's gone and um, I've changed my glasses. I've gotten new tattoos. <laughs> so we'll be catching up over the next few months. Um, as I think of things, I'm gonna be doing some reviews. Um, different things like that coming up. 
but I'm so glad you're here. It was so good to talk to you today. I can't wait to see you over in the next few weeks. Um, but again, I hope you have a great rest of your day and holiday weekend if you're here in the States. Um, if not, enjoy your weekend. I will see you for our next video. Talk to you soon. Bye. I would like to end